Well, hello and welcome to this very short exercise on Venn diagram uh, probability and some of it includes a bit of uh, conditionality as well. Uh, again, an IGCSE uh, maths uh, question here. Right, now what we've got here, we've got, um, we're trying to investigate the playing habits of 43 students, uh, in, in particular uh, looking at two sports, uh, squash and badminton. Uh, okay, and uh, we have a universal set, and that contains 43 students in total there, uh, because you add 12 and 5 and 7 and 19, you get 43 there. Uh. And it then says, uh, the Venn diagram shows a selection of sports played by students in a school. S for squash and B for badminton. Now, if a student is chosen at random, find the probability that he or she plays squash. That's the first one. The probability that he or she plays both squash and badminton. Okay. The probability that, that he or she plays either squash or badminton. Okay, and not both. And the fourth one says only one sport. Okay. And the hang on, the, sorry, for the third one says either squash or badminton. And the, the fourth one says only one sport. Okay. And the fifth one says neither of these two sports. Okay, and uh, the sixth one, which includes uh, a certain amount of uh, conditionality, somewhere there, and it says find the, find the probability that he or she plays squash, given that he plays at least one of these two sports. So, given that he plays at least one of these two sports. So, in effect, our sample space will now reduce to. Uh, what's in the circle for squash and badminton? Okay, and then for the seventh one, it says plays badminton given that he plays squash. So we're looking at this sample space here in the red circle. That that is not our that is not our sample space in the red, in the red circle there. Okay, here we go. Right for the first one. Uh, squash. Now, if you look at the squash here, don't, don't forget our sample space is still 43 because we're investigating for the three students in total there. But to play squash, it can be other squash alone, which is 12 over 43, or it can be you can play squash and badminton. So that actually counts. The, the five students in this region here also play also play squash, so they do count. So you have 12 over 43 plus 5 over 43, and that will give us 17 over 43. Okay, I hope that makes sense. The next one says both squash and badminton. So uh, the word here implies intersection. So and squash and badminton. So that's intersection there. So that means this bit here. 5 over 43, uh, still our sample space will be the 40, 43 students. So the probability of picking someone who plays squash and badminton is 5 over 40, 43. Now for the third one, it says, it says either squash or badminton there. So you cannot play squash or badminton. Okay, so then what you have is you can play squash there or badminton. Now, don't forget, you cannot count this bit here, the, the, the bit in the middle twice. So you can do the squash or squash and badminton. Either, even, the, even though they play badminton there and squash together there, that has to be counted, but not twice. Or it can play um, just badminton alone. So you can play either squash or badminton. So these five students in there also play squash or badminton. So that the count. The answer is then 12 over 43 plus 5 over 43 plus 7 over 43. And that will give us 24 over 43 there. Okay. And for the fourth one, we play only one of these sports now. 
So you can either play squash or you can either play badminton. You can play both. So in effect, what we then have is the 12 from the badminton and the 7. Sorry, the, the 12 from the squash and the 7 from badminton there. The, the 12 over 43 plus 7 over 43. So you play only one of these sports and not both. So we do not count the, fa the 5 in the middle. And you get 19 over 43. And the fifth one. Neither of these two sports, so they don't play squash, they don't play badminton. And yet we're thinking about for the 43 students in this sample space. So the probability of picking somebody who does not play squash or badminton is 19 divided by 43 there. Okay, now for the conditional probability, number six, play squash, given that he plays at least one of these two sports. Now, our sample space will now reduce to the green and the red circles. Now. We're looking at the squash circle and the permitting circle there. That's our sample space. And we want the, the probability that uh, a student picked at random Given this sample space here, play squash. And of course, that being the case, it's going to be the 12 who play squash and the 5 who play both squash and permanent. So they also count. So the answer is going to be 12 over 24 plus 5 over 24, and that's 17 over 24. Then. Now, similarly, for number four, 7, say so plays badminton given that he plays squash given that he plays squash. So our sample space is not in the red circle there. Okay? Our sample space is in the red circle there. And in the red circle, the only students who play badminton are the five who play both badminton and squash. So the answer has got to be your five over 17 because we're looking at this sample space, this, this squash sample space. So the answer is five over 17. And hopefully all that made some sense. And uh, please, please sus subscribe. Thank you for watching now. And bye-bye now. See you soon.